<sighs> Alright, so I guess sort of a cancer update today. We've known I had cancer for a couple years now. Um, I didn't go ahead and get my prostate out as soon as I found out I had cancer, which turns out was stupid as shit because now I'm running through all kinds of crap because of that. Um, you know, we delayed it for a long time first because my wife and I couldn't come together on what we thought the treatment would, should, should be. My thought was, God has been kind enough to give me good insurance, and he sent me to the best urologist and um, robotic surgeon in the country, from what I've heard. And he was going to work through the doctor to help me out with my problem. My wife's thought was, we need to leave all the doctors alone and just let God heal me. And... So we both just saw that completely different. Not to say one of us was right or wrong. We just, every time I was like, okay, I've got this thing. You know, God has given me a piece about the surgery. We need to do this. She would come in behind me and go, yeah, but you know, you need to just trust God. And it's like, I am. I'm trusting him to lead the surgeon's hands for me. And so we ended up putting off the surgery for well over a year. And then... Once we finally came to an agreement on, you know, I, I want to do the surgery. Please just stand by me and, you know, don't make me doubt my decisions anymore. Um, then it had just been put off so long that my body started retaining water from not being able to, you know, finish peeing the whole way, which is kind of what happens when you get an enlarged prostate and the the fluid that got left inside me caused let's see my prostate to to get an abscess on it which caused my body to go septic and it almost killed me i i had to go to the uh, emergency room and get emergency surgery to get that that scraped off or else i was going to die and uh, so then we go see, you know, I, I'm like, okay, well, there's the sign I was looking for. That it, it says, get the prostate out of you. Well, then we go see my doctor yesterday, and he says, had we got the prostate out when we were supposed to, basically, you know, it's not that it's a guarantee it would have gone perfect, but he's got a 70% success rate of everything just going fine. So that's really good. But, he says, now that we've had the abscess and they had to go in there and scrape all that stuff off, he said, that leaves a whole buttload of scar tissue on me. And that means when he goes inside me to try to remove the prostate, if we go that direction now, he's basically going to be flying blind because they can't see through all the scar tissue. He said, there's a really good chance I could end up with a like a rectal tear and some other problems where for the rest of my life, I wouldn't be able to control my bladder at all or whatever it is that your fecal matter sits in. So he said I would have a bag on me that I would be peeing in and a bag on me that I would be shitting in. So I basically would be peeing and shitting on myself for the rest of my life. Um, it's not a guarantee that would happen, but things have gotten a whole lot more complicated because we've put this off for so long and because of the abscess growing on me and, and um, basically fucking up the doctor's ability to see what they're doing when they're in there removing the prostate because it's surrounded by nerves so it's a very delicate surgery um, so I, I don't know what the hell we're going to do now we're going to go back and see a radiologist again and see about possibly getting some radiation instead and uh, just try to keep an eye on my PSA levels and we're going to get another MRI to see, you know, how the prostate looks. Um, they're wanting me to get off my testosterone, which is kind of the only thing that keeps muscle on me at this point due to my disability eating away at me so bad. Um, man, I don't know. It, it's, it's a fucking mess. So 
As best I can remember, that's the update. I forget shit all the time, so I probably forgot something, but there we go.